So I spent a little bit of time this afternoon um, reading some interviews with Jill Stein um, and uh, falling into the same old stupid argument that people have been having for uh, over 15 years now about whether Ralph Nader was responsible for electing George Bush or not. Which, of course, he, wouldn't, he wasn't, okay? But even if he was, it, it, it's just scaremongering at this point, okay? And fuck the scaremongering. You should know better. And if you're listening to me here, then you should, okay? I'm not going to argue against the idea that Nader won Bush the election. It's been debunked, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's say it is. Let's say that Nader did win, win Bush the election. Here's the reality check. It would not have mattered. Everything that you hated about Bush, Gore would have done it anyways. And in fact, it would probably have pissed you off that much more because when Gore was invading Iraq, he wouldn't have created all these protests. Gore and Bush were interchangeable. That's why Nader was appealing. Rather than argue that Nader won Bush the election, you should be arguing that Gore's corporate leanings made Nader appealing. It's not that Nader created Bush. It's that Gore created Nader. And had the Democrats run somebody that was more appealing, then Nader would not have been necessary. And what are we seeing in this election? We're seeing the same thing. Here is the reality check. That Trump and Clinton are interchangeable. It does not matter who wins. And if these are your choices, then we've got the two-headed monster again. Okay? We've got the aliens from the symptoms. Simpsons. It's the two-headed monster. Stop falling for it. Okay? And to demonstrate my point, I have an article here from the World Socialist website, which you got to be a little careful with. Um, you need to be careful with all media. Um, the Trotskyists... The Trotskyists aren't so bad. Um, I think... Uh, there's lots of arguments um, that I can have with Trotskyists. Uh, I'm not down with no vanguard, man. No, uh You can take your, you know, your dictatorship for the proletariat and stuff it. I don't want to hear about that. But, um... The World Socialist website is actually um, a little bit refreshing in the fact that it has a no-bullshit approach. Um, very much. Um, if you want news with no spin at all, uh, the WSWS is just about the best place to get it from. And uh, there's a few more articles here, um, and, a, and a YouTube rap battle that I'm quite fond of, uh, that I've attached as well. Um, that, uh, it's an article, um, for Truth Out, um, an interview with Jill Stein, um, that's suggesting that uh, if the Bernie folk don't get their way, um, Jill's a better option than Clinton is. And uh, you should probably vote Green. And hence, we need to address the old canard that uh, you can be sure uh, the Clinton robots will be throwing around every which way. Um, Listen, I know there's lots of Gore fans out there, I'm sorry. Uh, he was never so shit hot. Um, and if he was, uh, you know, Ralph Nader wouldn't have wouldn't have got the vote that he got. It's the actual truth of it.